Hello, hello, this is Mr. Kerm. Let's do another gas stoichiometry problem. Pause this video so you can actually read the question and let's solve it. First off, we're going to need an equation. So you have solid iron 3 hydroxide. So iron 3 hydroxide will be FeOH3 because remember hydroxide is only one negative iron 3 plus. So we need three hydro um, hydroxides and that is going to be a solid. Now you sorry, it decomposes. So decomposing means it's going to break up into different components from just that one big thing. So it produces iron 3 oxide and water vapor. So iron 3 oxide is going to be Fe2O3 in that solid. So it's basically rust and some water vapor. So H2O gas. Now this process will actually be a um, thermal decomposition. So you heat up iron 3 hydroxide and you produce basically rust and a little bit of water vapor. So first off, we're going to need to balance this equation. On the left hand side, you have one iron. On the right hand side, you have two. Uh, so what we're going to need, uh, let's, what if we double this one here? So if we double here, two ions, two ions. Here we have uh, four, uh, we have four oxygens, we, here we have, what's that, three, two is a six, you have six oxygens here. So if we already have three here, and you have three, hard, uh, three H2s already, if we put a three here, then you have three twos are six hydrogens, three twos are six hydrogens, and you have 3 plus 3 and 6, 3 twos and 6 oxygens. So here we have now it's balanced. So now let's do the actual question. How many grams of iron 3 hydroxide uh, was now used? So we are given 0 0.75 litres of water vapour. So we know now, using Avogadro's law, we can find out the number of moles of water vapour. Because we know that's V over 22.71. So we have 0 0.75 litres over 22.71 is going to, is going to be 3.30 uh, 0 0 0.30 by 10 to the negative 2 moles. Beautiful. So we have number of moles of our water. So let's find out the number of moles of our iron 3 hydroxide, so FeOH3, how many moles of that? Let's use our molar ratio. For every three moles of water produced, you only needed two uh, iron 3 hydroxides. So it's going to be two thirds times the number of moles of our water, which ends up. So, which ends up being, let's have a look, which ends up being about 0 0.022, 0 which is 2.20 by 10 to the negative 2 mole. And to find out the mass, that one's pretty straightforward. The mass of our iron 3 hydroxide is going to be the number of moles, so 2.2 by 10 to the negative 2 moles times its molar mass, so let's find out its molar mass, which is 106.874, according to our data sheet, that's grams per mole. And that will be, so it should be about 2.35 grams, 2.35 grams. Now with question B, we already know the number of moles of our water. So over here we know the number of moles of water. So we can actually compare that to the number of moles of iron oxide. So the number of moles, let's do it in a different color just to shake things up a bit. The number of moles of our iron 3 oxide equals about one third times the number of moles of our water which we can already do, which is going to be 1.1 by 10 to the negative 2 moles. Okay, so the mass 
of our Fe2, O3 is going to be 1.1 by 10 to the negative 2 moles times the molar mass of uh, Fe2, O3, which is 159.7 grams per mole, and that should give us about 1.76 grams, 1.76 grams, two, three significant figures, and there we go, solved.